guys, Natty here from Natty Gaming. Um, today in this video, it's another Amiga video um, and a little bit different. So um, this is sort of the in-between house between having an Amiga workbench set up on a real Amiga, um, Amiga set up on something like a Wii. I'm actually just going to show you how to set up the WinUAE um, so you can run the workbench on a PC uh, to play on a PC. So we're just going to be talking about a little bit of configuring for the WinUAE and I've also put my hard disk file on there for you. Um, so you won't have to set anything up in terms of WHD load, playing music, games, things like that. It's all ready on one nice neat package for you to play um, and I'll give you a little walkthrough for it as well. So in link in the description um, there will be a link to a mega site um, so what you will need to do is copy that link into your browser or just click on the link and it will take you to here now um, I want you to download it I've already done it but once that's finished downloading um, you want to save it and if I just go into my downloads it's here so Amiga for PC setup now what I'm going to do is move it to my desktop because I tend to clear out my downloads folder every once in a while so I want to actually install this on my desktop so I know where it is for future so I want to extract to Amiga for PC now this was um, zipped up using WinRAR so it is the best idea is to have something like WinRAR on your computer, but you can use 7-Zip um, and just extract to Amiga for PC. But I'm using WinRAR in this case, but for, as far as I'm aware, both are fine. Okay, so we just want to extract it. It's not a very big file. Okay, and once that's been extracted, um, we just want to open it up and uh, I'll show you what we do from here. Okay. Oh yes, also very important that you read the readme. Okay, uh, so then, um, WinUAE. Now, I'm not going to go into massive detail with all of these. I'm just going to show you the points that you need to know. If, but if you do have any questions, please do put a comment in the description. So we open up WinUAE and the first thing we want to do is tell it where our paths are because at the moment you'll see that it's pointing to where I've put it on the um where I've put it on my computer. Now yours um, will probably be the same, but we want to point to certain system ROMs and, and configuration files. So we don't need to worry about any of these along the bottom, but we do need to worry about the top two. So if we click on the three dots here, okay we go to our desktop go into our Amiga for PC setup go into WinUAE and then we want to point it to the ROMs folder okay so once you've clicked on the ROMs folder you'll then click select folder it will then scan for all the ROMs as you saw there and then it will say that it's scanned for all those ROMs and this is what it's found so that's done its job okay the next folder we want to point it to is our configuration file folder and again, we want to point it uh, to conf so go back to your desktop, go into Amiga for PC setup, go into WinUAE, go click on configurations, and that's the folder that we want. So we've told it now where those um, files are basically. Okay. So then, when we click on configuration, we should have a twelve hundred here default configuration. Okay. So we want to save our configuration. And periodically, when you do make any changes in this system, um, it is recommended that you change one thing at a time because if, you, if you're clicking on lots of things here, there and everywhere, um, you're not going to be able to keep track of any changes. So if there's something not working quite right, I always recommend changing one thing at a time, saving it and, and doing it that way. Okay, so we've saved our configuration. We now want to load our configuration. So click on it and hit load. And we want to check that the CPU is 68020. Approximate emulation speed, I tend to just put that as fast as possible. I don't tend to change anything else. Chipset, I want cycle exact unticked. 
and I want AGA selected. Chipset, you can keep compatible settings, we don't really need to change anything in here. Uh, we want to point it to our system ROMs. Now again, it, it's probably got an incorrect link here because it's linked to um, it's linked to where it was on my PC, so we need to now tell it where it is on your PC. So we click on the three dots, again go to your desktop, your Amiga setup folder, go into the uh, folder, Win UAE, and then what we want to do again is hit ROMs. Now if you go into KS ROMs and then we scroll all the way down, this is the one that we want, Kickstart version 3.1, uh, revision 40.68, 1993, Commodore A1200. So that's the ROM that I want. Uh, RAM folder, we can probably up that to 1.5 uh, we'll keep that at, well we'll put that up to 8 chip we, we can't really put that any more than 2 anyway and then I think that's it for the moment so yeah so what we're going to do then is save our configuration sorry say so click on it and save your configuration now it's really important to remember, if I just quit out and show you here, all of those settings that we've put in now have been saved in this file here. So whenever we open WinUAE up in the future, the first thing you want to do before you start loading anything in is click on configuration, click A1200 and click load. Otherwise, all of those settings that we've put in aren't going to appear. It, it'll go back to what it was before. So as I say, it'll it'll pick up our paths, it'll pick up our uh, where our ROM file is, and all of that good stuff. So every time that you open Win UAE, make sure that you do open up the load. You click on the configuration and click load, basically. Okay. Now the next thing that we want to do now that we've configured this, load it up. <clears throat> you'll get into the habit of doing that. But as I say, that's the only thing that you'll need to do going forward. Now. I've put a hard disk on here um, so that you, you don't have to faff about, so that you can just play and go really. But if I start this up as it is, you'll see this is how the Amiga used to look back in the day when there was no workbench um, installed on the hard disk itself. You could just put in a, um, a file and go, uh, basically. Now, to get back into the WinUAE menu, you need to hit F12 on your keypad at the top so if I hit F12 you can see this pulls me back in to the WinUAE, WinUAE property menu now while you can play floppy disks that you can get from various places on Tinterweb um, I want to actually put a hard disk file on with all the games on so that I don't have to mess about chopping and changing pressing F12 every time I want to switch a floppy disk it's just a pain in the bum so I don't really want to do it so instead I'm going to add a hard file here so that it thinks that there's actually a hard disk set up on the system okay so um, my configuration is still loaded up as A1200 I want to click uh, add hard file and this is where we're going to add the hard file to our system so if I click the three dots again I go back to our desktop go into our Amiga for PC setup folder and you'll see I've created a folder here called hard disk so I want you to click on that and it's the workbench hard disk file that I've created for you that I want you to put on there okay so we've now told it where the path is we want to call this DH0, okay, all in capitals. Select um, IDE Auto. And then what we want to do is hit OK. Okay, so that's it. Now that is saved as our hard disk file. Again, remember we've added a change, so go to configuration, click your configuration, and hit save. Now, every time that you do go into your Win UAE, we won't have to. We just load our configuration as normal, and your hard uh, drive will be there ready for you to um, go on. Okay. Now, a couple of other points I want to mention on here. Um, at the moment, we've got it set up as windowed. Um, 
you can have full screen or full screen window though it does tend to stretch but you can play around with these till your heart's content um you know to what to whatever sort of size that you want really okay so um what we're going to do now is load up our um emulated amiga with the hard disk on so what i would do is hit start um, as I say, I like it this size on my screen because it keeps the aspect ratio and things don't look sort of stretched or skewed or, you know, anything like that. But you can stretch it, but as you can see there, it's not actually making a difference to the size of the resolution on the screen. So, um, again, if, if you do want to make any changes in terms of the screen size, you're going to have to make it in here. All right, so uh, yes, so anyway, let's go back into the Amiga. So we've opened it up for the first time. Um, I've put a load of stuff in here for you, but we don't tend to access it from here. Um, what we do is we hit the run button. And this, oops, I've clicked directory opus. And yeah, I want to quit. And this opens up your... Um, utilities and things like that that we can use now to play games um, on your classic workbench it's a thing called whd load now i've set all of this up for you on here so you don't have to um, but if you click on whd load and then you click on iGame, not games but iGame, this brings up the iGame menu for you and all of these lovely games are in here that i've put in for you okay now in my auntie's case she wanted to play pinball dreams so you can click on pinball dreams and as you can see here whd load has given us a little message it said um f10 press f10 to quit and get out now sometimes it's f10 sometimes it's f12 sometimes it's print screen or the star key um but again it it depends on what game it is that you're playing um in terms of what button it is so you can just hammer a bunch and check which one it is now it won't be sorry it won't be f12 because f12 will take you back to the menu so in this case i know that this game you have to press f1 um and it's keyboard controlled so this is all i'm doing is showing you a keyboard game really um for starters so if i just uh let me see beatbox f3 steel wheel f2 so let's press f2 and we'll play steel wheel and i'm going to hit my space bar to start she says or my down button no it's not it's f1 what am i talking about see f1 again so it's tr trying to remember how to play this so uh down key for your um ball loading and then you've got your alt on the side for your tabs alt either well either side of your um i can't speak today <laughs> uh, either side of your space bar okay so that's pinball dreams now say i don't want to play pinball dreams and i want to play something else it said to us that uh, coming out of the exit menu, it was F10, wasn't it, to get out of WHD load. So I'm going to press F10. And that brings me back to the WinUAE menu. I've put all the demos on here as well, guys. So you've got demos, games. There's, there's absolutely loads. So there isn't anything really that, uh, you know, I mean, God, I remember this. So again, F10 to quit. But... Um, I put all of these on here for the nostalgia for you guys to be fair um but again f10 to quit so if you don't want to watch those anymore you can come out so that's your eye game menu and how you use it um a couple of other things that i've given you on here that you might want to know about is uh yeah i've also given you some music now you can use pro tracker which i've put in the programs folder for you so you can use pro tracker if you wanted um or you can use just the deli uh player to play music but i like pro tracker because it looks cool oops clicking too many times and there's pro tracker now um quick run through of pro tracker uh to play a song you go to disc op uh, then you want to click our stuff folder 
go into our music folder and all the songs that I've sort of added uh, are in here for you. So you've got a load of load of music in here that you can have a play around with. I will do another video at some point on how you actually um, add more stuff to the uh, WinUAE as well. Or you can click on the link um, of my WinUAE setup on a real Amiga. That does show you how to use it and how to add stuff on the, onto your existing hard disk file. So that's the music. Um, I've put you a lovely little sort of uh, background desktop picture here. But if you want to change it, I've also put some other images on here for you as well. So if you right click on your sort of bar at the top and you go down to Scalos and you go to Pattern, okay you'll see here that i've put you in a meager picture on in images and stuff so if you hit this little page icon here these are all the amiga sort of pictures you can pick one um or you can go into the parent directory go one up um, and there's some movie stuff there's some game pictures so if i go into game let's say i want to put on i don't know uh super frog hit okay and then what i do is hit save that will then put uh, Super Frog on, or you might want another picture. So as I say, there's um, there's loads in here for you to be getting on with and having to play around with. But um, as I say, I like to put loads of goodies on for people that they can, uh, you know, have a little look at and whatnot. So um, yeah, so you can change all of those. There's loads in there as well. I think I've put a couple of Terminator ones in there for you as well. Um, and that's it really guys so every time that again you hit F12 to come out and go back to the Win UAE menu um, if I just save my configuration because I couldn't remember whether I'd actually done that on my display um, so as I say every time that you go in now all you need to do is when you start hit your configuration and hit load then you just hit the start button and that will bring you into your Amiga and you can play games to your heart's content so then it's hit run WHD load, iGame, and then you can select uh, a game. Now, I just want to make sure that my controller's working. As I say, I'd selected my uh, Xbox controller. So if I hit rough and tumble, now this time it's telling me print screen to quit, which I know is the star button on our UK keyboards. which is where print screen used to sit on a real Amiga. Let's make sure my control pad's working. Again, with this, it's a bit of jiggery-pokery. Um, it doesn't look like it's working, does it? So, if I go into my game ports, maybe I need to configure it. What we want to do in your game port settings is have your mouse in one so hid compliant mouse or windows mouse whichever one that you've got um you want your controller in the second port so look what i'm doing i'm changing settings controller in the second port and then put your keyboard in the emulated part part so keyboard layout a put that in the emulated part um so that you'll have a keyboard a mouse and a controller all working so if you hit your configuration and hit save okay you should in theory now have all three of them working at the same time and it's oh god it took such an unbelievably long amount of time to actually figure that out um because for some oh, i didn't load my configuration did i silly me so you should have mouse controller whichever controller you've got um and then your keyboard layout at the bottom so when you hit start You now should be able to use your mouse, click in directory opus again, uh, go into AI game, let's go down to rough and tumble again because that's controller based. And as you can see now, the controller's working. Now, brilliant yeah works great stuff okay so it was uh, print screen to get out in my case it's star and that works as well so it looks like our keyboard is working too but just to double check we'll go back into pinball dreams 
la 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 there it is and it's f10 to quit in this case and it's f1 to uh, make your selection on the game here but i'm sure for a lot of you that are playing these games you'll it'll all come back to you Okay, so we've got F1, F2, F3, F4. I'm going to go with F4 this time. We'll play Nightmare. And we've hit F1 to start the game. We hit our down to select the ball. And we've got our alt on either side. And they appear to be working beautifully as well. Excellent. So I've had enough of playing those. I'm going to come out now. So I'm going to hit F10. That brings me back into my iGame menu. And again, if you want to come out of this all together, you hit F12. That'll free up your mouse. Um, but yes, as long as you've got, just to reiterate, compliant mouse in the top, Xbox uh, controller or whatever controller that you've got in port 2, and then put your keyboard layer, which is keyboard layer A, in the emulated parallel port joystick adapter. And then that means that you can use the keyboard, you can use your controller, and you can use your mouse without having to keep coming back to this menu. Um, so now, in theory, every time that you load it up, you should be able to load that up without a fuss. All right. So that's my sort of video on it. Sorry it was a little bit longer than expected because I was faffing about. But um, if you do have any questions on how you get that set up, please do leave me a comment in the description. Also, feel free to like and subscribe as well. It really helps me out. I'll uh, speak to you soon. Have a good one. You take care.